Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we have some interesting information to go over for sure. If you have not seen, today's news has been dominated by the uh, development that Massive Entertainment, who obviously develops the Division 2 and the Division franchise, is now in development of a brand new Star Wars game in partnership with Lucasfilm Games. Yeah, so my initial reactions are, I'm kind of bummed, because... While I'm sure this is super exciting for the people working there, while I'm sure there's plenty of, you know, fans of Massive and fans of Star Wars across the world that are super excited for this, it does certainly mean that the future of The Division is certainly a lot dimmer than we thought it was just yesterday or a few days ago. Now, we don't know anything. This video is entirely just my thoughts on the situation. This is all speculation. I have no information about what is going to happen with The Division in the future. No one really does right now, except obviously Massive. Um, but we have yet to really get word about the future of the division yet, but I just wanted to kind of make this video and give you guys the information because this could be potentially the end of the division, which is really sad. Um, so yeah, my, my initial reactions are I'm a bit bummed, but again, we have yet to get official word. So let's just go over what we know. Who's involved? We know that Julian Garrity is the creative director on this new Star Wars game that came out in an article earlier this morning. And so if you don't know, Julian is the, or was, I guess, the creative director on The Division 2 and The Division 1. So we're kind of leaderless right now. I mean, we haven't seen him on a state of the game or on anything ever since Division 2 came out. He's been active on Twitter for the last two years. I mean, active in quotes. You know, he talks about some timelines and some bugs and stuff for Division, but really hasn't been a big presence in our, you know, community sphere in the last two years, but he is now gone, or at least is in the process of transitioning from Division to Star Wars, or it already happened, I don't really know when, but he will be the creative director on there. So he's the only one that we know for sure is involved with the Star Wars project. We have several devs this morning who have worked on Division in the past who have tweeted about this, but we do not know that they are now working on that game. Some of their profiles still say they're working on the Division 2, but I wouldn't say it's fully trustworthy that they haven't just updated those yet if they are in fact working on this Star Wars project. So who we have involved, or who's, sorry, who's tweeted about it is Thylander, Nikki Koopins, Hamish, and then Bruce. They, all four of them have tweeted about it or retweeted the main announcement tweet with a little, you know, reaction emoji or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that could just be them you know, hyping up their own studio and saying, look at this, it's cool that we have this IP, or it could mean that they are possibly going to go and work on that. Out of these four, I'd say it's pretty likely that Thylander has been working on this ever since he left the division around TU8. Um, you know, he's still been very active on Twitter talking about division stuff, but I think that he is certainly the most likely one because he was such a high ranking division guy. And now he's been off of here for a long time. They probably want someone like that to helm the production of, of uh, Star Wars. And so I would say that he's most likely on there. Um, Nikki and Bruce, you know, they were big, you know, figures on Stay the Game and in the community from like TU8 to TU11, basically. Now we haven't seen them for two months. You know, I reached out to Bruce a few months ago and asked him if he's still on the division. And he told me he couldn't tell me what he's working on. And then this morning he gave a little reaction tweet to... The announcement and I asked him if this has been what he's working on he hasn't answered me yet but uh, it's possible that we've lost Bruce to this too and I don't know about Nikki his profile still says division 2 but again I don't know if that just hasn't been updated yet um, Hamish tweet about it but of course they're still going to do more stay of the games we know this that they're doing one at least at some point this month so and Hamish is just a he's a community developer he's not an actual developer on any of the games so I don't know really what his role is going to be as far as the future is concerned but again we don't really know with any of them so those are the devs who's commented on it so far but you know this really just leaves the big question is the division done for I don't know and it's uh, sad that I have to say that now when we were so, you know, getting hyped and so sure that something was coming in the future. I mean, I just released a video earlier today that I recorded yesterday about how I thought Codename Nightmare kind of hinted towards some more stuff coming in the future. And now I'm really kind of second guessing if any of that is really true. I really don't know what the future holds for the Division franchise. Uh, but let's just talk about the logistics. Could Massive realistically handle three IPs? Because... Not only do they have Division, we know they've been working on Avatar for about four years now, um, and that has been worked on by a separate team. They actually have two different buildings in their new location in Sweden, uh, you know, two different buildings that have been, you know, holding these two different teams. But now we don't know, or it seems at least like Star Wars, their third IP, has kind of siphoned a lot of the development, you know, power and people from the Division team. So... 
Could they realistically handle three IPs? I mean, it's possible, but I think out of those three IPs, because Avatar and Star Wars have contractual obligations with, you know, third party and outside studios and, you know, companies, I would say of those three IPs, Division is certainly the one that's going to get the short end of the development stick because that's their own IP, right? And they don't have timelines or deadlines or obligations to it like they do these other ones that they have now been contracted to make the game for. But let's talk about two things that could give some hope that Division is still alive and what we don't know. Red Storm is definitely a wild card here. A few months ago, they changed their banner back to a Division Rogue logo. At the time, everyone was talking about it, but we really haven't gotten any news or confirmation on that since then. A lot of devs have kind of teased and tweeted about it, but there really hasn't been anything official. So we don't know what Red Storm has been working on. They've also been hiring for an unannounced AAA project similar to Massive and what we thought we thought all those job listings were for a Division 3, but now it looks like that's most likely been for Star Wars, but we don't know what Red Storm's hiring for, and we don't know what any of these other partner studios for the Division 2 are hiring for, so could they then be partner studios on Star Wars? It's possible, but I have a feeling that if Star Wars is just going to be a single-player open-world game, then they like then Massive likely doesn't need all that extra help. I think a lot of the reason they needed the help on Division 2 is because it's this live-service game, it's a looter-shooter, and that has a lot more, you know, demand short and long term than something like a single player game does, where almost one of the main focuses is just to flesh out the world and make the world, which is what Massive has, has always been so good at doing, right? So we don't know about Red Storm, we don't know about these partner studios, and there's certainly something that could develop there that we really just don't know yet. The other thing that is interesting is that um, in the most recent day of the game, I believe it was, back in December, Trick, you know, and a lot of people were talking about this at the time, I think I even mentioned it in my Stay of the Game recap, was that Trick was like, oh, you know, next year on Stay of the Game for Christmas, we'll have to do yada yada yada. So clearly there are longer term plans for the division, or at least, you know, maybe he was just saying that he, and he doesn't actually know that there's going to be a stay of the game next year, but there are certainly things that could suggest Division is going to continue past this March, right? So let's just keep that in mind for now. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, we have gotten multiple teases from people at Red Storm, at Massive, etc. about future related Division things. There's been a lot of Division 3 topics going on in the community lately, and devs have been liking it, responding to some stuff, you know, giving some vague hints and teases. And so clearly, they've seen our widespread speculation for the future, right? And I think if they knew that Star Wars was coming, and if that was going to indeed cancel the Division franchise, I don't think they'd play into it, into our speculation, to the degree that they have, if they knew that the Division was coming to an end, right? And on top of all this, we have a big story cliffhanger coming soon in Season 4. I'm not going to spoil it here, but there are some pretty major events that are going to happen at the end of Season 4 that really set up something for the future. So... If they knew the division was ending, and I, and again, it's not like we don't know that they knew Star Wars was coming at the time they developed this story, but would they really end on that big cliffhanger if they knew that the, that the division franchise was coming to an end? I don't know. So I think there are four big possibilities for the future that I want to lay out as to what we might be able to expect with the division franchise. The first one is that the division just continues on unaffected this March. Maybe there has been enough internal restructuring and additions to the team that allows Massive to actually handle three IPs, you know, consistently and ongoing. Um, and so maybe that's a possibility. And maybe we just see the continuation of the Division game, the Division franchise, and it doesn't really get affected by the announcement of this Star Wars project or the ongoing Avatar project. And maybe we just get a new creative director in the stead of Julian Garrity. That's very possible. I don't know how likely it is, but that is certainly a possibility that we have to consider. And so, you know, that would be nice, I suppose. But we'll just see if that really comes to be true. Second possibility here is that the division gets put on a hiatus for a while. Uh, I think it it's certainly looking like this could be a possibility that maybe we kind of get some talk from the devs that, you know, they're just going to take a bit of a break from the division while they're working on Avatar and while they're working on Star Wars. And maybe once one of those projects wraps up, we see a return to the franchise and they then work on a truly next gen division three or some spinoff, something like that. Third possibility is that the division is canceled and that come this March in the next few weeks after season four, we get the announcement that the franchise is officially going to kind of be canned um, because, you know, the, the studio is just moving on to bigger and brighter things and they don't really see a future for the division. I certainly hope that's not the case, but I think it is something we now have to seriously consider, unfortunately. And then the fourth possibility here, which is certainly something interesting, is that the Division property could have been handed off or given to Red Storm or another studio to take the lead on. 
would I be interested in this? I mean, if it means the continuation of the division, sure. And if it means that if Red Storm could actually take it on, I don't know how big Red Storm is. I don't know if they're ever a studio that's really led on a certain project. I think maybe back in the day they did with Ghost Recon or some Rainbow property. So, hey, if they want to do it, then I'm sure we'd see more PvP stuff in the future and I'd be fine with that. So maybe that's what's going to happen or maybe another one of those partner studios that originally helped with the Division 2 takes it on and Red Storm then helps them or something like that. That's also a possibility. And so we'll just have to see if that really could come true in the future. One other thing to mention is that there's been a lot of spinoff talk lately in the community. I haven't really commented on it because I don't know how likely it is necessarily, but if they are at least putting Division on a break for right now, the main game and the main franchise while they're working on these other properties, then we could see something like a single player spinoff that Julian teased a lot, you know, a lot a few years ago. We could see that come out from someone from some studio. We could see Red Storm develop some sort of PvP survival spinoff game like I mentioned before, and like, you know, a lot of people have talked about. So stuff like that is certainly possible now. And I think it's a lot more likely now than it was a few days ago, you know, when we were all still thinking that the future was in the Division main game. Whereas now that's a bit more in jeopardy than we may have realized. But the main takeaway here is that there has been no official announcement yet from any of the higher ups at Massive about what the future of this franchise holds, and we likely won't know for a little while. I'd say the soonest we're going to get any sort of official comment on sort of what is going to go down in the next weeks, months, years is on the next day of the game. I think it's going to be pretty hard for them to avoid addressing this topic. You know, maybe they um, initially wanted to wait until March because that's obviously the month where they always do their big announcements. But I have a feeling that the next time we're going to hear about this, you know, majorly and officially will be on the next day of the game, which at the soonest could be a week from today. So next Wednesday, but we'll have to see when that will indeed come. All right, and I just want to close this out here with one final statement. All I hope is that if the division is canceled, that it wasn't because of how badly the devs were treated day in and day out by this community. Look, I'm not saying we shouldn't relay our feedback to them about why many of us preferred Div 1 over Div 2, but how do you think they feel getting the same messages two years after the Division 2 came out about how badly they screwed up the franchise and their game is broken, their game sucks, they suck? I don't have to be in their shoes to say that that's awful. So while I'm not saying we should pretend like, you know, we like Div 2 more than we do, I am saying that I'm a big supporter of some human decency. So if this is in fact the end of the Division franchise, I suggest going to Twitter, Reddit, the forums, and thanking the devs for the last five years that we've gotten. I often see people say that Massive has ruined this franchise and they wouldn't buy a Division 3 from them, but without Massive, I wouldn't have my favorite game of all time. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel. You wouldn't be watching this video. So if this is, in fact, the end, then I want to say thank you to Massive and everyone there for the experiences and memories we've gotten, and I hope you'll do the same. That said, though, we don't know that this is the end. There's evidence to suggest that it isn't. So let's enjoy this exciting story development we have coming in the next month and wait to see what's next. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this development in the comments below. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, Rogue Gold, out.